Hi, this is Rick Eimer with the Palo Alto Weekly, and we're here today with Raymond Reese. He's a sophomore here at Eastside uh, College Prep, and he's a basketball player. He's our Athlete of the Week this week after two tremendous games this last week. Of course, he's had a tremendous season. Uh, one, of the, one of the games was against uh, the Kings Academy, which was uh, a one-point win and brought Eastside into a tie for first place in the West Bay uh, Athletic League, and Raymond made the winning free throws, too, in that game. Uh, let, let's start there with, with the uh, the Kings Academy and uh, kind of like uh, how the game went, and then you were on the line there relating the game to put the team ahead. Yeah, well, Kings Academy, they're a pretty good team, and, yeah, they're pretty physical. They, like, rebound a lot. And then, like, yeah, the fourth quarter, we was just just lacking. And then, like, the end of the fourth quarter, we just – we were just focused, and we were doing pretty good after that. And then that shot I took, it was, I mean, the foul, the free throw, that was pretty, that was one of the biggest free throws I ever had. Mm -hmm. And there was two of them, right? You made two of them yeah. to the first one was to uh, tie the game, the last one was to win the game. Right, so after the game, I'm sure you guys uh, jumped for joy for a lot. Uh, you know, I mean, when moments like that, I mean, teams really come together and <laughs> get to celebrate. I mean, how, how, did that, how did that feel for you? I felt pretty, I was pretty shocked. It was pretty cool, though. We had a good team bond. Yeah, so now you're in a four-way tie for first. And of course, that'll be broken very soon because uh, all four teams play against each other tonight uh, when we're filming this. Um, so at the beginning of the season, I mean, you have a new coach. Of course, everybody knows who he is. You know, you know him from, from the girls, and he's, he's on campus so much. But was there any kind of an adjustment you had to make? Or, or uh, you know, how's the season gone with him? Oh, Coach Donovan, he's a pretty good coach. He, he'll help you become a better person if you just buy into what he's doing. And, yeah, at the beginning, we was all lazy. We didn't know what to do. Like, it was hard. We didn't know basketball. And now he's helping us still improve and trying to still go on top of that level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's been familiar. He's coached boys before, so it's not, not a big deal for Donovan. But uh, having two teams at once, and then, of course, you have to practice with the girls. I, don't, I guess you don't have to, but uh, you do. And, and, and uh, Isaiah was telling me that it works out pretty well. Yeah, it works out pretty well. They, uh, the girls, they're pretty, they're strong. They're pretty good. They'll help us become better players as boys in the league. Yeah, they're pretty. We teach, we learn some moves from them. They're pretty yeah. interesting. So last year you didn't play very much as a freshman. This year you're playing a lot. You're uh, double double, averaging double doubles in uh, the f season. Uh, you had that thirty point game and a twenty rebound game against uh, Harker. Kind of just tell me about your development as a, as a player uh, from last year to this year. Oh, last year, I now know basketball. I felt like I thought I did, but I really didn't. It was pretty, I, didn't, I, I really didn't know anything. I didn't know the plays or nothing. But then this year, Coach Donovan is helping me a lot become a better play, person, player. He helped me become a better big man. And yeah, coming stronger and more physical. Ah, great. And I know I watched the game against Pinewood, and you certainly were uh, pretty dominant there in the, in the middle, which is, I'm sure, for you a lot of fun. Even And Pinewood has some tall players. I mean, they, they weren't that bad. I mean, you beat them up pretty bad, but <laughs> it's the way it goes, I guess. Uh, and, and maybe talk a little bit about after being the Kings Academy, you guys probably thought, hey, this, this can be our league for the taking. Is he kind of talk about that? Yeah, in the locker room, we were talking about this, we're going to take over this league and become the most dominant team in the league. And I know Isaiah was talking about how you guys talk about getting back to the CCS, getting back to the state. And is that something that you guys think about every day, talk about every day, or is it just in the back of your minds? Every single day. Games, practice, before we go to sleep, it's the only thing we're trying to chase, state championship. Great. Well, Raymond Reese is, of course, a big part of that, and he is our Athlete of the Week this week, and congratulations. Thank you. And if you want to find out next week's Athlete of the Week, just hit that subscribe button down below or visit us at pasportsonline.com.